Hey everybody, this is Jake Wynn with the National Museum of Civil War Medicine, continuing on with our South Mountain On Tour series and this playlist on the museum's YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in with us. We've moved from Fox's Gap several miles south down the mountain, uh, the South Mountain Range uh, to the outskirts of the village of Burkittsville, Maryland. And this is going to see uh, this kind of uh, third area of major fighting on September 14th, 1862 for the control of the mountain pass over my shoulder. What you see out there is Crampton's Gap. Crampton's Gap is one of several mountain passes that carries roads uh, over the South Mountain Range. And this is going to be an area where Confederate forces are going to try to hold that gap against U.S. Army forces uh, from the 6th Army Corps. And there's going to be heavy fighting in the village of Burkittsville and to its outskirts uh, between here and the Mountain Pass. Um, reason we wanted to stop here, just wanted to, uh, to make sure to reference this part of the battlefield. This is kind of often kind of kind of forgotten in the South Mountain battle, um, but this played a crucial role in the outcome of the Battle of South Mountain and in the Battle of Antietam to come. Uh, we are closest to, of, of any of the South Mountain battlefields, we are closest to Harper's Ferry, which as this fight is taking place on September 14th, uh, there are forces from Robert E. Lee's Confederate Army, specifically under Stonewall Jackson, besieging Harper's Ferry, which is only a few miles west uh, and south of where we are now, just on the other side of this mountain and another mountain range uh, in between here and Harper's Ferry. So this is a very crucial uh, point in this South Mountain battle that if the U.S. Army could quickly overwhelm Confederate defenders, take the pass, could actually influence the outcome of the battle at, South, uh, at, at Harper's Ferry. Uh, this battle moves much slower. Uh, William B. Franklin, in charge of the 6th Army Corps, moves much slower uh, than, uh, than, than would have been advisable if they wanted to influence the, the battle at Harper's Ferry. Ultimately, this is going to be a success for the U.S. Army. They're going to push the Confederate defenders up and over that pass uh, and force them back, um, but it's going to be too slow to influence the outcome at Harper's Ferry. Uh, this town of Burkittsville, which is located, we're in the old Burkittsville Cemetery. Um, over here you can actually see one of the church steeples uh, from uh, Burkittsville. So we're just on the uh, outskirts, the northern outskirts of the town. Um, this town, like all of the other villages and communities here in this part of Maryland, is going to become a makeshift uh, field dressing station and then hospital for all of the casualties uh, from all of the fighting here. Um, this is also a great spot to kind of view the Middletown Valley as well, so I'm just going to ask John to kind of turn and look. Uh, if you come to Burkittsville, which I highly recommend, it's a, it's a quaint little town, great village, um, but you have great views as well of the entire Middletown Valley. This becomes essentially uh, all of the towns and communities here, uh, Middletown, uh, Burkittsville, uh, Jefferson, as well are going to become kind of makeshift hospitals as a result of the fighting along the South Mountain Range. And you can actually see the rest of South Mountain um, over in that direction as well, uh, heading north towards uh, Fox's and Turner's Gap. So if you would have been here in September of 1862, September 14th, these mountains were ringed with smoke from all of the combat and the fighting that was taking place. Uh, and Burkittsville, like the other villages, is going to become kind of a makeshift hospital. Uh, this is the kind of first step in the Letterman system of getting casualties from the battlefield itself uh, into uh, these makeshift hospitals in Burkittsville and Middletown. From there, uh, the casualties are going to be transported over the next mountain range, which you can see out there. Uh, that is the Catoctin Mountains. Um, and on the other side of the Catoctin Mountains are the villages and communities around Frederick and Frederick, Maryland itself. And Frederick is going to become the main hospital depot for the United States Army in the aftermath of this battle. Hospitals established there before the Battle of South Mountain by Jonathan Letterman, Medical Director of the Army of the Potomac. We're going to make a stop in, uh, in Frederick at the conclusion of this series of On Tour videos. We'll talk a little bit about uh, how all of the casualties were brought from places like Burkittsville and Middletown to Frederick, where they're ultimately going to be cared for. About 8,000 to 10,000 patients will pass through the city of Frederick. So that's going to bring an end to our uh, short little foray to Burkittsville. Maryland to talk about Crampton's Gap and the fighting here and the casualties uh, that were transported through this uh, through this community on their way to Frederick. 
Uh, thank you so much for watching with us. Uh, you can give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and the others in the series. Please subscribe to our channel as well. You can find a subscribe button in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Uh, you'll get notifications about upcoming videos in this series and otherwise and become a member of the National Museum of Civil War Medicine and support videos like this. This is Jake Wynn with the National Museum of Civil War Medicine. We'll see you next time.